Hello, this is not a spring chicken. If you're watching this, oh yes, is it live or is it Memorex? Well, we'd love to be here. Not because all this week we've been out celebrating. Well, it's Oscar week. So there's a lot of Oscar events, a lot of gifting tweets, a lot of parties. Oh, yes. Well, I guess we better bring an old cat, but you can catch us live from wherever we are. Catch us live. Yes. Just go to our website and you'll find us. But meanwhile, we'll bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Uh, this morning, in a major Freudian slip, the President of the United States admits that he plans to have be a third term in office when he says that uh, in, uh, w you know, with, uh, within the next five years after the fall election, he plans to have comprehensive immigration reform on because he doesn't expect George Bush and Republicans to be able to stop it anymore. Well, he wasn't reading off the teleprompter because if he'd been reading off the teleprompter, he would not have said George Bush and Republicans because Bush is the president. He is, and I, maybe he doesn't actually think he's in the middle of his first term that he's just running for election. Um, here it is. Uh, uh, despite what the Democratic Party keeps telling everybody that there's no evidence whatsoever that higher taxes kill jobs, the Britain put a brand new tax, a 50% tax rate on and it's basically killing the jobs. The people, they weren't making money before and they're definitely not making money again. So uh, basically the President of the United States wants a corporate tax overhaul while Romney would cut individual rates and shrink government. Uh, the problem is the President's tax thing isn't revenue neutral. It actually raises money because of the fact he's, clo he's basically shutting down things like uh, you know, uh, all the deductions that small businesses need to keep an operation. He basically shuts down the trucking industry, takes their deductions away from them, uh, basically forces, uh, he double dips on all businesses who are doing business out of this country because they're already paying a price out of the country to do business, so they're paying a price in the country to do business. And they said, it, it won't, even people on the left said it won't bring one single, one single job back to this country, but it will shift jobs out of the country and where they only have to pay um, one tax rate instead of two. Uh, which, you know, every day the Dow near is a psychological milestone of 1300. I don't know why it's a psychological milestone. We've been higher. Um, and then here's another neat one that the, uh, the people that basically look into criminal misconduct have found out that GM is selling twice as, uh, selling many cars to local and federal dealerships with the Fed picking up the cost twice which is amazing. That's why they're supposedly doing showing a profit when they can't be showing a profit. But okay, let's put it this way. If I'm running a business, I owe $40 billion and um, I can't afford to make the payments on the $40 billion, I can't show record profits. It's, an, it's a mathematical impossibility. Um, basically, Asian stocks down, dollar weak as China cuts reserve ratio, oil is basically going off the map. But don't worry, the President of the United States has already announced that, uh, that the George Bush and Republicans are responsible for the problem. That, there's not, that he's, what he's looking for is to stop the cost of gas going up in 10 years. Well, the problem is today, not 10 years from now, and he just doesn't understand it. Um, basically, it does, he's taken the issue, though, away from the Republicans by simply saying, that uh, the Republicans have a mythical way of fixing the problem. Well, yeah, it's called allowing a pipeline to come from uh, from Canada to here where we can buy their oil, allowing us to drill more in this country, reopening the areas we were already drilling in, uh, and and all of that. So, but that's not mythical. Um, that will affirmative action survive the Supreme Court? Probably not, because. Um, the problem is, is that that you can't tell somebody they're not as good as somebody else because they're not the same color as the other person. That's what affirmative action says. And uh, if if the predominant amount here's the thing, a predominant in the, um, the ratio of minorities to majority in colleges is now there, there's more minorities than there is majority. So then it becomes when the majority becomes a minority, then you've got reverse discrimination going on, which means they have to you got to discriminate against the people that you're trying to undiscriminate against in order to, to not discriminate against the people you are discriminating against. It's really ridiculous. So what's going to happen is they're probably going to have to go back to the books and say that uh, you, you, you simply cannot discriminate against white people any more than you can anyone else. 
um, basically Japan's record trade of Hilux weakening China, Chinese demand. Um, well, you know, because they're not, okay, here's a, they're basically borrow, buying more than they can uh, pay for now. So they're buying more than they produce, they're buying more than they can pay for, but because they had a god awful big disaster too, remember? And um, the China, does, Japan doesn't really manufacture anything, they're more of a country, um, they're, they're service oriented and all this stuff anymore. Uh, that uh, basically uh, they're, they're hitting up San basically they've declared Santorum dead now because they, they said well Romney didn't win the debate in Arizona Santorum lost it badly because he spent all his time defending himself as a member of the United States Senate um, well yeah and you know you, you defend yourself from being what you were Romney doesn't defend himself from what he was he just says he had nothing to do with it and then just leave it at that uh, let's see is America committing super suicide against China well yeah because the uh, uh, president is willing to cede, uh, cede our position in the world to the Chinese while at the same time saying how he's talking tough to the Chinese um, uh, this one that I makes no sense. A bankruptcy judge approved Solentra bonuses, but they cut the bonuses down. The company was bankrupt, folks. It's out of business, and you're giving bonuses to people. Okay, they fired all the other people that were supposed to get bonuses, but only left people in for specialty positions because they're so they're too important. You know, they were promised this. Well, let's see. Bondholders were promised that they would be the, according to our law, would be at the first of the food chain. On the on the uh, bankruptcies of automobile companies, well, the president decided that they didn't get the money. Uh, so um, you basically already have a president for not giving people things. Was Einstein wrong? Was Einstein wrong? Or, the, or you know, uh, you know, the relativity? Or was the cable loose? Well, basically, the, they're finding out the the cable was loose, and that you can't go faster than the speed of light. Uh -huh. I mean, eventually you will be able to. Anybody watch Star Trek and their little warp things, but that's not here and yet. Um, two shot, one dead at Walmart distribution. Actually, there's now two dead at the Walmart distribution channel. Um, that station, well, because people get pissed and they go do things. So the president now, he's, he's on live telling everybody, we need to develop tech that lets us use that. We need green energy. We can put people to work with green energy. Um, but the, the problem comes is that green energy is a decade down the line. You need, it, it's just, you need today, not tomorrow. Um, and we got a blow to Obama. Uh, ju federal Judge Washington can't make pharmacies sell Plan B birth control pill. Well, he's trying to force churches and religious organizations to sell, to pay for birth control, even if it's a backhand. And now he's got a judge that says a pharmacy can't. For a pharmacy cannot be forced to sell the stuff to people. Uh, uh, here we got, you know, Christy, uh, Santorum of 2008, Satan comments are relevant. Okay, the problem was is that the Republican leadership are taking the comments, comments out of um, out of the place that they were in. Basically, if you're talking to a whole bunch of religious people, and you're and you talk about Satan, it comes up real easily. Uh, I love this one. Some Greeks might have to pay for their jobs. Uh, basically, are you going to pay to keep it? You're going to pay to do more money to hold a job than you are getting in a job? That's not feasible, which means the Greeks will basically fold more. You know, oh, and uh, I love uh, Hubby showed pic of drowned wife posing by a drowning caution sign. Well, uh, I know, but okay. I'm going to tell people. My father was a, a Los Angeles Reserve Police Officer for about 30 plus years. My father said that he would see somebody that just lost somebody do something, you know, like uh, he'd see a guy that wife had just been killed in an auto accident sitting there at um, an, um, an old hamburger stand, you know, just eating away uh, like nothing had happened and not wanting to talk about it. You see a person that died from a gunshot. Uh, you know, a wife, her husband has died. She'd be uh, sitting there calmly drinking a cup of coffee. And, and then you see the people that were totally hysterical. Everybody handles death in a different way. So you cannot use what somebody does as a signature that they've done anything wrong. 
um, we got gas spikes on Iran tensions. Well, I, I heard the Obama people this morning saying that no one's going to lose their job because of the high price in gas because we've gave them a means every month to pay for the higher prices. I mean, that's popping out, folks. Um, uh, your money bottle is the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Um, when you're old, you get tired, and often you never recover from being old.